Hi guys, welcome to a new video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to delete a CPU. So I'll be doing it for the first time. I've never done it before. So hopefully you'll learn from my mistakes, what to do and what not to do. So the CPU I've actually got under this heatsink here, and this is the Noctua D15S, I think. I think that's what it's called. I've got an i7 4770K. Problem is I can only get it to um, 4.2 gigahertz at the moment. It's probably gonna go higher, but it gets very hot. So this will reach 100 degrees Celsius um, with too much voltage. And a lot of that has to do with really bad thermal paste within the CPU itself. So we're gonna uh, change that and uh, watch how to do it in the process. on the rise now Woo! endless celebrations all in my house yeah. levitating now i'm super duper fly now yeah. let them boy but they see where i reside now put the time in while you always yell a time out and for quitting cause i know i'm coming with it you were sitting you were wishing i was handling my business yeah. now i got the ball like harry potter playing quidditch and my buzz is so humongous you would think that happens in that damn man i'm all bad yeah i'm all bad looking bad. for that whip yeah that what you call that So guys, so what I've done, I've locked the frequency of the processor at 4 gigahertz. I'm sending it a constant 1.15 volts. What I'm going to do now is get a baseline temperature reading. So I'm going to use Prime95. What I'm going to do is use the small FFTs test. This will produce the maximum heat. We'll let it settle for about 15 minutes and see what temperatures we get on our course. Um, this isn't strictly scientific because um, I've got no thermometer to tell you what the ambient temperature is, but um, if we can get everything done today, the ambient temperature should be constant. All right, guys, here goes nothing. So I'm gonna align the CPU facing the arrow of this device. Hmm, that actually fits really nice. There is no wiggle room at all. So I'm pretty, so far, impressed with this thing. Machined very well. There we go. Thumb screws. So the website says you put them in until they are just snug. They don't need that much pressure. Snug. So we're gonna just tighten this 
bolt here until it's snug against the integrated heat spreader. There we are. Very slow. That's a lot of pressure. Oof. Very slow. That is a lot of resistance. Very slow. Okay, I think that's it. Ah, it doesn't look like it's come off at all. Could go back. Hmm, that's fine. I've lost resistance. Why isn't it coming off? Okay, it's got to be off. That that is beautiful.
Check it out. The overclock is successful. This has been running for about two hours. I don't smell any smoke. Nothing's blown up. And this is incredible. The ambient temperature today is actually a little bit less than what it was last time, but still the results speak for themselves. So this is running the same test and if you look, we haven't reached a maximum of, uh, maximum is 65 degrees Celsius. So we're looking at approximately a 20 degrees Celsius improvement in temperatures, which is incredible.